friend welcome back my channel in today's video we are diving into a topic that many find tricky by passing google frp or factory reset protection on samsung device whether you have forgotten your google account details or you have purchased a second hand device this guide will walk you through the steps to regain access your phone FRP is a security feature designed to protect your phone from unauthorized use but sometimes it can be hurdle we will be showing you a method that safe and straight forward please remember this should only be used on device you own or have explicit permission to access before we get started make sure to hit and subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any update of my future tech tips let's start after factory data reset your phone interface look like that simply go to this start button and click on this agree to all and click to agree now go to more and click to this more to agree click on this next button Okay, I forgot my pattern, so I am going to use my Google account instead. Okay, friends, wait few seconds, verify your account. But I have also forgot which Gmail ID is recently signed on this device. So I am going to click back button, back button, back button, back button. Now go to the change. Change language English US. Then go to this emergency call and write a code and wait few seconds. Okay. Then now go to this sensor section. Wait five seconds. Click on this back button. then go to this receiver then click back button back button and we'll go to this last green wait few seconds now click on this back button okay friend and click on this back button okay and open the talk back press the volume up button and power key for 5 seconds click to use now again do this process Draw a project L. Allow talk. Use voice. Click on this use voice command. Use voice commands. Open Google Assistant. Open settings. Open assistant. Okay. Now turn off this talk box. Same process. Repeat the. Okay, friend. Now go to the account and backup option. And there is an option of bring data from old device. Click on this. Click to agree. Okay. Wait few seconds. And use another phone to. Switch your your transfer your data. This is my another phone. I am going to switch and transfer to data to this phone to this phone. So click to more and click on this allow. Now transfer your data. 
I download this app. The app name is a smart Samsung a smart switch. Okay, click so more and this is the Samsung smart switch. Click on this. Okay. Now go continue. Click to more allow and transfer your data. Okay. Click on this receive data and click on this send data. Okay. Now click on this wireless and yeah, click on this galaxy. Get connected. Click on this wireless. Now wait few seconds. Connecting to transfer your data. Click to connect. Wait few seconds. If you skip the video, you cannot do this process successfully. Okay, now go to this custom option and click on this next button. Okay, and then go to this account option only and then go to this transfer click. Transfer your account. Click OK and all done message receive click ok now and then go to the home scanner ok friends go to the start section agree to all click more click agree and click on this next button Okay friends, now you can see there is a skip option in your left corner. In the starting of video, there is a no skip option in your very in your Google account verify page. But right now there is a skip option. So simply click on this skip, skip, click more, click accept and click skip, skip anywhere, click OK. Click next, click skip, skip, click finish, click agree, click ok, choose your language, click next and click on this continue button, click on this skip button, skip and wait few seconds. Ok friend, in this video, I am not using any type of computer software laptop. This video is fully based on your mobile phone. Okay friends, thank you for watching.